Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Kick the Problem. I'm your one and only Shivam back again with a new video on array. Today we are going to solve a problem in which you are going to sort an array containing 0, 1 and 2. And guys if you are new to our channel, please do like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So guys, let's see the solution of this problem. So guys, here in this question, we will be given an array uh, which only contains 0, 1 and 2 but it it will be in any order it, it is it will not be inserted and our work is we have to sort this array if we sort uh, at the starting we'll get all the zeros then after ones and twos so here i have explained you about two approach one is first approach that is naive approach uh, here you can use any sorting algorithm like either you can write code or you can use built-in function that is already in java arrays dot sort it will also take the same time complexity and inside bracket you can uh, pass the array what is the given array uh, the time complexity of this approach is order of n log n and in, instead of writing this uh, like using built-in function you can write code also and this is our second approach it's also very simple but uh, it is better approach because time complexity is order of n as you can see uh, except for for loop we cannot see any other loop or nested loop so it is better approach and uh, here what i have done i have simply initialized three variable c0 c1 and c2 uh, we can say it as a counter variable which will which will keep the record of count of number of zeros and ones and two uh, it will store like how many zeros are in this array how many ones are in this array how many twos are in this array so uh, at the starting i'll run a for loop and inside that for loop if uh, in array will get zero then we'll increase the first counter that is c0 uh, else if we'll get one we'll increase the counter one that is c1 else we'll increase counter 2 in this way we'll get the number of zeros 1 and 2 in our array after that what i have done i have simply uh, initialized one variable when we can say it as flag or counters same thing uh, and then after we have run of three for loop in first for loop it will run from 0 to less than c0 that means it will run for a number of zeros and it will uh, store like it will replace uh, our original array with 0 1 and 2 you can see here uh, till the number of 0 it will add 0 and uh, instead of writing uh, k i have written k plus plus because in every iteration it will keep on increasing the value of k so first of all we'll uh, in we will replace the first elements with 0 then after we will replace 1 and then 2 so guys you can see this is the code i have written let's compile it you can see it is correct it is running for same sample case that is example 1 let's submit our code our code is submitted and it's correct profit you can see over it is successfully submitted so guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon in future i'll be uploading many this kinds of video related to days and go till then keep enjoying and keep watching kick the problem bye bye